It's always like, oh, it's going to be my year. No, this is really your year. Look at yourself in the mirror right now. 2020 is your year. And my year too. From Asia, who came to uh, boxing with me today. I did. It was really intense, guys. Is trying to get, not get in shape. You're, I mean, you look good the way you are, but. Yeah. But I'm trying to get better. Exactly. You can improve. In Asia, what are we not doing? We're not comparing ourselves to other people, right? That's what we're not doing in 2020, guys. No comparison. Comparison are lies from the enemy. Every everybody's beautiful, mm -hmm. and it's about what your body can achieve, yes. right? Yes, yes, and what your mind can achieve. We all yes. have different mindsets, so let's put our mind to living a healthier lifestyle. That's all it's about. Oh, what's up, internet? It's your girl Liv. So, I just got back from boxing, <clears throat> and I know a lot of people are on the um, the New Year, New Year. 2020 hashtag new me bandwagon and I just wanted to take some time just to talk about like fitness in general kind of what's going on in the industry and so basically people are on different fitness journeys so for example I'm trying to train for a half marathon I have friends who are wanting to just get in shape and get healthier and people who friends who want to do crossfit and be able to lift a lot of weight and work on strength training and like people who want to you know run half marathons and marathons and doing all those different things it's gonna get people's bodies to be different and I feel like there's a lot of unnecessary judgment and people wanting to just add each other for things that they know nothing about and also there's this youtuber gauge girl who gives a really good breakdown of what your body type is what is ideal for your body type like what can you achieve and this is like the best workout slash things that you should be doing to get your body in the best shape because some people's bodies respond really, really well to cardio. Some people don't. Some people respond to doing better with weights. Some people don't. And also understanding that like with different body types, people carry weight and they carry body fat percentage differently. And so if you're someone sitting there who's like, oh my gosh, this girl's so skinny or like if you go to the gym and you're like, wow, she's so tiny, like why can't I be like her? I would encourage you to try to not have that type of mentality because as far as fitness goes and having long lasting fitness, it's not about comparing yourself to other people. It's about comparing yourself to yourself. What do, like what do you want your body to achieve? Do you want to be able to run fast? Do you want to be able to run a marathon? Do you want to be able to lift 150 pounds? Like you have to ask yourself what it is that you want to achieve because that's what your body's going to look differently based off of based off of that. And then too like going back to the whole body fat percentage thing is like First of all, there are people who naturally carry weight more, who are still healthy, who are still in shape, and they might not look like your ideal fit shape person because their body type is not designed to do that. Like, I think I always, the gauge girl always says like Ashley Grammer, the one who's the sports illustrated model who like had naturally has curves and naturally has like a higher body fat percentage and she's still in shape because for her like ideal that's what is possible and there are people who have a really really hard time like losing body fat and there's a people who have a really really hard time gaining weight and gaining muscle and 
if you are on a journey to get like feel better to be healthier my encouragement to you is just do not compare yourself to other people if you're being healthy and you're staying motivated and you're getting to like into the gym then that's something that you should be proud of like I'm trying to train for a half marathon and my biggest struggle is being able to work out and not be in pain so we're all on this journey together guys I'm sorry we want to grow old right we want to grow old with our parents with our friends with our grandkids with our kids you know we want to we want to live a longer life and to do that gotta be somewhat healthy right so yeah this is this is the year keep recording but it's basically because also as far as fitness i know that this is fitness and everything go it's like nutritionally eating right and being healthy and not starving yourself because being sustainable in the long run is so much better than like short-term loss or short-term gains. Yeah. And I ran cross country and track all throughout high school, all throughout college. And I, I've had numerous people on my teams have eating disorders and it's something that's very prominent in like the fitness industry where you have these gurus basically telling you starve yourself, um, fat diet, eat like eight eight hundred calories a day, do all this cardio, and it's none of that is beneficial, and it puts people into positions where like they're scared to eat certain foods. They're there. You got to have a balance and. I was telling Asia about this because Shalane Flanagan just started a run club based off of, um, like, she came up, she's doing a partnership with Dogfish Head Brewery or something like that, and because her thing is balanced, like, no one to run, no one to drink a beer, mm -hmm. it's okay to, like, have sweets, just don't eat, I mean, I kind of eat sweets every day, but, like... <laughs> It's balance all, it out. It's all about yes, balance. Yes, balance it out. And it's all about your mind. Like, your mind, it just is so much there with your mind. Your, your mind controls everything, right? So if you think that, like, I look like this and things like that, like, don't worry about how you look. Worry about how you feel. Just keep working out, keep going. Nothing overnight happens is good for you, period. Yeah. I don't think so. I mean, at least I don't think. So it's going to take a while. And it's just one of those trust things where journey. you have to you have to trust that, like, your fitness will come. That's with, like, every single athlete that I follow is, like, your fitness and your training will come. And you have to listen to your body, too. It's all about your pace, too. Like, today we were working out Liv. She's a cross-country runner. She's trained numerous of years running. So when we were on the treadmill, no, I couldn't go at 80 miles an hour that she was going. I had to go at my own pace, but I felt good going at my own pace because I was challenging myself. I was like, okay, Asia, you're at a five. Let's take it up to a six for the next minute. Okay, let's bring it back down to a five because you're tired. <laughs> and don't look at Liv because she's going 100 miles an hour. But no, it's all about your pace. So just... And there's and that's the thing too, is you. like not being discouraged by those who are around you. That's a word. That I'm just like I'm just saying like don't compare what it because I told Asia I was like listen I'm like I'm trying to train and get faster and I'm trying to not be injured and like stay in shape mm -hmm. and literally like two months ago, like in October I really couldn't work out that much like the only thing I could do was really like walk because I had some health stuff going on. Mm -hmm. And like, don't com the person like don't compare the person who's sprinting on the trim at the gym to like you. Oh my gosh, like I'm walking and I'm dead and I'm exhausted. It's like no, keep going. You're you're and there's gonna be training blocks too. Like when you're getting in shape, where you're just gonna feel like crap and you're gonna mm -hmm. feel like shit. And that's something I've like any like any track cross country ski season I had to go through like you're gonna have training blocks where you don't feel good and it's because of the stress that your body's going through and if you can get through that period it's all about the mind you're gonna hit like two three weeks and then all of a sudden you're gonna be going and you're gonna be feeling so well and you just have to pound through it
nothing in life comes easy. It definitely doesn't. Whole happy, happy body, happy mind. What she said. And working out and getting exercise, even if it's walking, produces endorphins in your body, which actually helps with depression and anxiety. Fun fact. And we know this because we hate going to the gym. It takes our mind forever to get it right and like say, like, okay, we're actually going to do this thing. Once we get there, we're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm about to actually do this. And then we start, and then we're like, oh, okay, I can actually do this. And yeah. then you're going, and you're doing it, and you're working hard, and you're looking good, and you're like, okay, I got this. And then when you're done, how do you feel? Nobody ever leaves the gym after a hard work and talking about, oh, I wish I never would have went there. Like, yeah. nobody ever does that. You feel good about yourself. So, you yeah. can do it, guys. You got this. You got this. 2020. This is your year. Peace, love, blessings, y'all. Remember that you got this. Bye.